2002, 17 years ago, that was the first time I ever heard the words Huntington's disease. I was 19 years old, and my son Dakota had just turned one. That's when I met Justin. Justin and I were together for six years. We never got married, but we did have two children together. Logan was born in 2003, then Autumn in 2006. In 2008, Justin and I broke up, and he tested positive for HD shortly after that. Last year, one month after his 36th birthday, and just 10 years after testing positive for HD, Justin passed away. I think back to that conversation with Justin 17 years ago when he first told me about Huntington's disease, and I can't help but wonder if I knew and understood then what I know and understand now, would my life and my family's lives be any different? Huntington's disease, also known as HD, is a genetic, neurodegenerative, progressive brain disease that is 100% terminal. Every child of a parent with the disease has a 50-50 chance of inheriting the same devastation. Doctors, researchers, and scientists all describe this disease as being similar to having all of the symptoms of ALS, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's disease all at the same time. Once onset symptoms begin, HD slowly takes away a person's ability to walk, talk, think, and speak. There's no cure for this disease, nor current treatment to stop or slow its destruction. But scientists are getting close, and in the last few years, clinical trials have started recruiting all over the world. Huntington's disease has understandably been called the most devastating disease known to man. The changes in symptoms start out subtle, like clumsiness, forgetfulness, and personality changes, but they get worse over the course of the disease. The earliest symptoms sometimes go unnoticed or get overlooked or justified as being moody or tired. In the middle stages of the disease, a person may seem as if they're drunk or on drugs and may even get questioned by police several times over the course of their disease progression. In the last few years of life, the affected individual will by that point have completely lost the ability to do anything at all and will require a caretaker 100% of the time. Once a person starts to show symptoms of the disease, it is only a matter of time before the battle is lost. For some, that battle is much shorter than others. In January of 2018, our family received the most horrific, unimaginable, heart-shattering news. Autumn, my daughter, who was 11 at the time, tested positive for the same incurable genetic brain disease that her father was dying from. But believe it or not, it gets worse. Autumn was diagnosed with juvenile Huntington's disease, also known as JHD. JHD is more aggressive and progresses three to five times faster than it does in adults. The younger a child is when they start showing symptoms, the faster the disease will progress. So just imagine finding out that your child has an incurable disease that you've been watching your biological father die from slowly over the past 10 years. And not only does your child have this unimaginable disease, they have the absolute worst possible form. And there's nothing you can do about it. How to even wrap your head around this, I still don't have words. My youngest daughter, Autumn, my only daughter. How could this be possible? Huntington's disease is rare, and it's estimated that it affects one in every 10,000 people, or roughly 30,000 Americans. 90% of those people affected by Huntington's disease are adults who start showing symptoms after the age of 30. Life expectancy is around 15 to 25 years. For 8% of those 30,000 Americans affected, those are juveniles with Huntington's disease. They start showing symptoms in their teens or before the age of 20. Life expectancy for them is around 10 to 15 years. And then you have the super rare group 2% of those 30,000 Americans are juvenile Huntington's disease kids whose symptoms start showing before the age of 10. Their life expectancy is less than 10 years. 
1993, a dedicated team led by Dr. Nancy Wexler discovered the gene that causes the onset symptoms of Huntington's disease. This was a huge breakthrough in scientific research. Since the discovery of the gene in 1993, scientists and researchers have been working tirelessly on developing treatments and therapies for Huntington's disease. And in the last few years, there have been some amazing scientific breakthroughs. And HD clinical trials, which so far are successful, have started recruiting all over the world. This is great for the adults that qualify. It's not fair for Autumn. Autumn's 13 years old and is, as of today, September 2019, in early onset of juvenile Huntington's disease, stage two, according to the JHD rating scale. In order to be enrolled in a clinical trial, you have to fit the particular criteria that the drug company is looking for. And while all the drug companies require you to be in early stages of the, of the disease progression, the one thing that disqualifies Autumn from being eligible to participate in any of these trials is her age. HD affects a person's brain, and for someone who's 13, the brain is still developing. Drug companies worry that if the drug trial fails, it will have irreversible effects on the growing brain, which is understandable. But thing is, as Autumn's symptoms get worse, there is and will continue to be irreversible damage to her brain. A clinical trial would be Autumn's only chance at the possibility of saving her life. Hi, I'm Autumn. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. For more, for more videos about JHD and our family's journey, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching The Watchdog.